Hey, Wrangler 4xE fans. I wanted to show you something that I'm seeing this morning. It's 21 degrees Fahrenheit where I am, and I wanted to show you what could be considered normal cold weather operation. Now, as you can see, I am able to put it in electric mode. Some people have uh, just concluded that once it gets below 50 degrees or 40 degrees, they can't use electric mode anymore. That is not considered normal operation. And we're hearing stories of people getting down into even to the single digits uh, Fahrenheit and still able to use electric mode. So I would say don't listen to anybody who says it's not normal. If you can't get in electric mode below 40, that, that might be an issue that you need to, to look at. However, I want to show you something that is also normal. You know, I can reach over here and I can put my um, my vent selector on defrost I still have electric mode if I come over here and hit the max thing what I might end up getting over here well it's not going to do it now but it was doing it earlier it would say uh, electric mode unavailable cabin heating or cooling that can be normal at low temperatures and it could be an abnormal response if your electric coolant heater is bad and that was a situation if you go back and look at some of my previous videos that was a situation i ran into and took almost three months to get the repair done but afterwards i am now able to drive fully electric even down into these cold temperatures so if you are, are experiencing uh, like i've heard some people say below 50 degrees theirs will not go into electric mode that would not be considered normal operation and it's something that you uh, really need to talk to your dealership about and have them take a look at. You uh, you could have another issue. Uh, if it's going into uh, what we call form, fuel oil refresh mode a lot, that could be, it could be normal, but it could also be abnormal. So these are all things we're gonna have to work through in the coming months, especially as it gets warmer out across North America. And uh, we may find that our Jeeps, you know, are still operating irregularly or you know we, we may these all may be things we need to really take a look at but I wanted to encourage you this morning that if you're seeing hey every time it gets 40 degrees or below I can't get into electric mode you can see right there it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit and that agrees with what my watch says and uh, so we are uh, we are in a cold climate and I'm still able to operate in electric mode now it was earlier when I would put it in the uh, the front defrost, you know, when I would put it on full, it would say electric mode unavailable, but I think it has finally just warmed up enough that it's it's not doing that anymore. So that's where good uh, conditioning comes in. I only conditioned it for um, maybe about five minutes before I got in, so it really wasn't warmed up and um, really wasn't ready to hit the road at that point. So uh, I think the, uh, the electric mode unavailable cabin heating and cooling was a legit thing at that point is in that it just hadn't warmed up enough but now as you can see i'm uh, i'm all electric all the way now there is a there is a cost to that when it gets down to this cold my range uh, is not going to be what it normally would be as you can see uh, i've got 15 plus 4 there you know it's not uh i'm not going to get my 24 miles out of that out of that battery when it's this cold so just be warned there but just wanted to share a few things uh, in case you're seeing odd behavior out of the wrangler 4xe it might not be considered normal and it might be something to have your dealer take a look at thanks for watching